I went on a journey to find some of the strangest websites from all over the internet. In this video, I will be exploring many obscure, funny, and downright horrible websites. For those of you who don't want to look everything up, this video will be perfect for you so you can see the websites without actually visiting them. I've explored every level of the dark web, dug down internet rabbit holes, downloaded dangerous computer viruses, and opened many dark web boxes. And today, I'll be exploring many of the internet's strangest websites. Welcome back to Crypto NWO, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host crypto nwo i got a bunch of tabs open here in this video i'm not going to be doing an explanation of these websites i'm actually going to be visiting these websites the first website we're going to be taking a look at is called plane crash info self-explanatory it gives you literally air traffic control units like actual communication with air traffic control from the plane it gives you last words from planes before they inevitably crash. By the way, this is really disturbing. It says caution may be disturbing to some individuals. So plain and simple at the top, it says last words, cockpit voice recordings, transcripts, air traffic control tapes. That's scaring the crap out of me, to be honest. Um, we're about to hear people's or read people's last words. January 15th, 2009, the plane had just taken off from LA Guardia Airport when it suffered bird strikes in both engines. That's my biggest freaking fear. My biggest fear when it comes to flying is Oh, birds, the birds, they just go in the engines. Oh my God, that's absolutely terrifying. Thrust was lost in both engines and the crew was able to ditch the plane in the Hudson River. All 107 aboard survived. It's 1529. He, uh, bird strike, he lost all engines. He lost the thrust in the engines. He's returning immediately. Check this 1529. Which engines? He lost thrust in both engines, he said. Got it. We can get it, Pete. Do you want to try to land 1913? We're unable. We may end up in the Hudson. Oh, this is messed up, dude. Oh my god, you can even see the photos. The people landing in the Hudson. Oh my goodness. I mean, that one has a happy ending, but not gonna lie, there is quite a few of them here that don't have that many happy endings. I'm not gonna be going through all of them in this video because we have quite a lot of websites in this video here. Air traffic control tapes of people's last words but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at another website this website here is called internet live stats what I find creepy about this is seeing how fast it could move like for example you can see 735 million tweets sent out today oh my goodness look it goes up by 10,000 a second 10,000 tweets are posted on Twitter every freaking second i'm not gonna lie i'm not trying to sound like a hater right now but every time i go on twitter i get a nasty taste in my mouth seven billion views as the current time of this recording on youtube in one day seven billion views were shared across the entire platform websites hacked today you can see that 201,000 websites it goes up at least one a second. Wow, is it that easy for a website to get hacked? There's 568,000 computers sold today, 3.8 million smartphones sold today. Do you guys find this accurate at all? Oh, this is getting really serious. Carbon dioxide emissions today from the internet. 3.1 million tons of CO2 emissions today. We gotta find a better way around this one. I don't even know how many gigabytes of internet traffic that is. That's 10.8 billion gigabytes of internet traffic. Oh my God. So this website, I find it really interesting. You know, some people actually just stare at this. They probably get fried and just stare at this website. Like, bro, what have you become? What is this nonsense? I find it really interesting. It actually reminds me of another website kind of like this. It's called Worldometer. I'll show you guys right now. This is how much oil we have left in barrels on planet Earth. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is this over here where it says there's 15,052 days left until the end of oil, less than 41 years from now. So you gotta you gotta think about the future, you know what I mean? That's not even cap. There's that much, there's 15,000 days left, less than 41 years until the end of oil. There's a fun fact that you guys didn't know. There's a lot of this stuff on Worldometer. Like for example, 43 million people have been infected by HIV and AIDS. And that number goes up as somebody is infected. This is literally a website that is getting data from all over the world and incorporating it onto like a, some sort of counting website, like a Worldometer, like a meter website. You know what I mean? We've seen these before. I can sit and look at this website all day. It does get pretty freaking interesting, but then again, quite depressing, you know what I mean? Knowing that 1.7 billion overweight people in the world and 805 million of them are considered obese, that's kind of messed up. Let's take you to a cool website called Pointer Pointer. You leave your mouse anywhere on the screen and it's gonna take you to a picture of somebody pointing at your mouse. So if I move the mouse anywhere on the screen, I'll move it right here. It's gonna find a picture on the internet of somebody pointing at the mouse. It's, it's bamboozling. I can put the mouse over here. I don't know how this works. I don't know, bro, who are these people? This blows my mind, man. I can sit here for hours and this dude pointing at the mouse oh oh my god wait where is it where's the mouse where's my mouse oh my mouse is over there they're all pointing at it oh my goodness oh that was a lucky one that's absolutely 
<laughs> this is crazy. I can do this all day, man. These are truly the strangest websites on the internet. The camera was perfectly set, so his finger would be exactly where my mouse is. Welcome to 2022, boys and girls. Just last one. I just want to see if it's actually going to work. Oh my god, it worked perfect. <laughs> it worked perfectly. But this one here, <laughs> this is called Poop Senders, the ultimate gag gift. Sweet revenge at its finest. Guaranteed anonymous. Package tracking emailed instantly. I guess take elephant poop or animal poop and send it to people you hate. That is ultimate revenge. Let's say there's somebody you really, really, really don't like, and you're like, you know what? This person's just gonna get rhinoceros. That's what this website is. Look at this, 2022 Spring Fling Mega Pack, three pound mega pack. It was $99, but now it's $50. Hurry, limited time offer. Obviously, I'm gonna be blurring this out because there's elephant cow dung, gorilla poop, combo pack. <laughs> Where are they getting it from? Are they just going to like nature trails? Do they own a gorilla? That's legendary. It's a website where you can literally take out your frustrations and anger on somebody you really don't like. This is a gift that every whole neighbor should get. This is what humanity is good for, you know what I mean? Just creating banger websites like this. The thing that's blowing my mind is that somebody is paying $20 a year for that domain, bro, I'm telling you. The next website we're looking at is called Death Date. Now we're getting a little creepy down here. We're entering deeper down into the levels of the uh, strangest parts of the internet, but death date. You type in your name, your birthday, if you're a male or female, they're not kind of 2022 standard. Now people don't prefer to answer that. Some people identify as a basketball now, you know what I mean? So you have to tell them your height in feet in inches or in centimeters. You have to tell them your weight in pounds or in kilograms. If you take any stimulants, oh my goodness. Okay, so let's just type in my name. Let's take a look at when I am going to die. March 3rd, 2056 in 33 years. 11 months and 6 days. That'll make me 59 years old. It tells me how many seconds left until the demise. Dude, that's actually kind of creepy. That just made me really uncomfortable. I'm not even gonna lie. So like you would type in your birthday. You would type in all the stuff that you do. This website over here is about telling you the day you're gonna die. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next website over here. And this website is called No Homophobes. It's kind of like the Worldometer website or the Internet Stats website where it tells you how many people in one day used certain derogatory terms like these derogatory terms. And to be honest, I'm not gonna be saying because I don't think YouTube's gonna want that. I'm gonna be just blurring out half the words and everything, but this is how many tweets have been sent. Dude, that's so bad. But look at that, that's good. This is good because you can see times changing. It kind of happened at the end of 2015. Times are changing now, man. Yeah, so that's just that website. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the next website. And you guys probably clicked on this video for this very reason over here, but this website is called This Cat Does Not Exist. You've probably heard of its equivalent, This Face Does Not Exist, where it'll give you a face generated by an AI that doesn't seem to actually exist exists ever. These people don't exist. In this sense, these cats that you're about to see on the screen, I'm going to refresh the page and refresh the page. All these cats don't exist. I'm going to just refresh and these are all created by AI generated images. I mean, if you found these pictures of cats on the internet, I want you guys to tell me in the comment section, tell me where you found it, but these are all AI generated cats. And if you zoom into the pictures, you can actually see some imperfections. I'm going to show you guys the human one later on in the video. It's going to compile a brand new human face based off all the features that it gives it. This face that it's a it's showing me doesn't actually exist on planet earth doesn't exist at all it's created by a robot. Look what the world's gonna become soon, bro. I'm telling you, soon your girlfriend's not even gonna be an actual person. We're getting a little weirder here, but this website is called Hosanna1.com or Hosanna1.com. And I just wanted to actually credit Tuv. Almost half the websites from this video, I found it from Tuv's video. He was talking about the websites. He was giving a description of the websites, explaining it to us. And of course, curious, curious guy over here. I had to take a look at these websites and I decided I'd record it and show you guys. Some people want to see what's actually on these websites instead of hearing what the websites are about. So here I am. I don't know what this website is about, I don't even know what's happening here. We have some of the beautiful champion sired young male and female Afghan hounds available now for show or pets. If you have room in your heart or love one of these most beautiful dogs in the world, please check out this page. Surely goodness and mercy, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want me maketh to lie down in green paste. What the hell is happening here? I'm not gonna lie. I've been here looking at this for the last few minutes and I don't even know what to make of this website. This page over here is actually telling us which Christians smoke in or don't smoke in the Bible. What's the point of this? Is there actually information of people smoking in the Bible? How do these people know who smokes and doesn't smoke? in the Bible. Smoking what? Cigarettes, crack, weed. What are they smoking? I'm actually already bored of this website. I don't know what it is. It is creepy. It is weird. Dog has angels and I don't have flash on my computer because I don't even think they use flash anymore, bro. <laughs> You've probably heard of this very strange website before. This is Heaven's Gate. Do I have to explain what Heaven's Gate is? It's the infamous cult. There was this gentleman over here that you see on the screen trying to introduce a bunch of people into a cult and he had them wear a bunch of joggers and he drank the Kool-Aid. Something bad happens. You take off to planet Jupiter or something. I don't know. That, that's all I know about Heaven's Gate. I 
if you guys know more about it, let me know in the comment section. To be honest, don't go too into detail because the FBI might be watching. By the way, if my internet service provider is watching this video, my ISP, <laughs> this is just a YouTube video. You're probably looking at all my tabs right now wondering what in God's green earth is going on with this guy. But Heaven's Gate, this is the website. If the website still exists until this day, it's the .com website. Whether Hale Bob has a companion or not irrelevant from our perspective, however, its arrival is joylessly very significant to us at Heaven's Gate. So basically, they think that a spaceship was going to come to Earth, pick them all up, and ascend them all into the afterlife, heaven. So, million red flags. That's, obviously, that's not the perfect explanation for it. There's gags all over in pop culture talking about Heaven's Gate. You know, Family Guy being one of the most infamous. You guys seen that? You guys know not to drink the Kool-Aid if somebody offers you the Kool-Aid. You know what I mean? I, I like their tracksuits, so their tracksuits are pretty fire. <laughs> this is the transcript of the videotape that was recorded by that gentleman that you see on the screen. Everything that you see on the screen here was said by him in this video clip. What if I want to watch the actual video? How and when Heaven's Gate may be entered. 60 minute, these are tapes. Transcript of tape, 60 minute read. Session two, 60 minute read. So I can imagine the people that really actually got serious into this, they went through 12 sections. Each one, each section being over an hour. There's more sections, oh my God. Oh, these people read everything about it and then they tried to follow through. They followed through to the point of drinking that, that drink. You know what, I'm actually getting goosebumps right now just even looking at this website. The fact that this actually happened, they have a section here called our position against soup. So basically after taking a look at this little description here, the way they look at humanity, the way, the way they look at us is they call our bodies vessels, vehicles, for whatever reason that can learn the lessons needed to complete our own individual transition as well as complete our task to offering the kingdom of heaven to the civilization one last time. I'm creeped out. I'm leaving this website. Heaven's Gate is a website that you can actually still find. The .com website still exists. It's still available. The next website I wanted to show you guys is called MapCrunch. Now MapCrunch here is so simple. You press go, it'll take you to a random place in the world on Google Maps. Wait, what I find kind of interesting about this is like, you know, for somebody who goes urban exploring, for somebody who does like randonautica exploring, I like stuff like this. Finding random stuff on the map is always kind of fun. You know what I mean? If I press go, for example, it's going to take me to, we don't know where this is in the world. Oh, actually it tells me right here. This is in Santa Domingo. Look at that, man. For people that like like exploring you can literally check these places out you can do the google street maps and just actually for example let's say you like this place i can imagine somebody going on this website pressing this go button over here and this is in central greece that's what greece looks like i don't know why i pictured like zeus like hovering above the place i don't know I, okay i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know next one we're gonna look at this is in scotland here that's a road in scotland where you guys need traffic lights g <laughs> what is this press go again i like this for example like like i said you can end up pressing something, you like the place. I can imagine you just looking around a place you never even thought your eyes would look at. This is the closest thing we have to a teleportation device, unfortunately. We can't teleport to these places, but hey, press go randomly and it'll take you to these places on the map. Map Crunch, that's another website. Take a look into it. But now we have the infamous scary maze. Whoever showed you this game, you can find a time of your life where they were like, hey buddy, you should try this game out. This game is so fun. It's actually one of the hardest games ever. I know this because it happened to me. This game scary maze you have to get your pointer through the maze make sure you don't touch the walls and you have to get it to the red point of the map i found the original game right here the original scary maze it says turn your sound up the game looks different i don't know why it's supposed to be a blue background i don't know why it's a yellow background but you want to hear something cool i know the cheat to this game i used to hit the walls all the time you have to hit play hit the wall hit play hit the wall hit play but look at this take a look at this everybody typically tries and they try and they try challenge one is so easy this one here everybody hits the wall i'm like kevin stop doing that just beat the game what if i told you if you held down your mouse you can go over the black wall oh my god Look at that magic. And then you go to the spot. Hold your mouse. Go over the black wall. Repeat challenge two. This is where stuff gets tricky. This is where everybody turned from a child to a man or woman. If you were a boy, you became a man. Your went down deeper, bro. I'm telling you. Just gotta skip over this. This is what I'm actually gonna try. If I lose, I'll actually cry. I forgot when it comes up. 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 Oh my god, you my camera lady even got scared. On to the next website and oh my god, I, <laughs> this is getting so freaking dark, dude. The next website we're gonna take a look at is not actually a .com website. You can find this on YouTube. This is called Don't Hug Me. 
I'm scared. Don't hug me, I'm scared. I'm not even gonna show you guys the full video of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. I'm gonna show you guys a little clip, me reacting to a little clip on the screen. But Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared is by far one of the greatest internet ARGs that you need patience to actually take part of playing. What can I tell you why? Because their last video they posted was three years ago. It has a 16 million views. We're all being very patient. That was a trailer they posted three years ago. It's called Wakey Wakey. Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. They have 2.61 million subscribers. I'm gonna show you guys don't hug me i'm scared just a little clip this is them getting creative on don't hug me i'm scared this is the weird part dude really freaking weird part there's a whole arg behind this game like nobody understands the actual meaning behind it there's a heart on the screen it's supposed to be a kid's show how about this? You're probably watching this video. This is, let's say this is the first time you heard of Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. You're probably thinking this is the stupidest thing ever. This doesn't look scary. This doesn't look weird. This doesn't look like it could actually have that much meaning to it. What if I promised you that if you spent 10 minutes looking into the ARG behind this, the alternate reality game behind this, you will lose your mind. There's so much things like there's so much questions that I have for Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. Anyways, you guys should go take a look at it. I'm gonna have the link for Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared in the description. Go check it out. It's gonna say DHMIS. Go click the link. I want you guys to go check it out and go comment on their wakey wakey video. Tell them to upload the damn video because I don't know what's going on here. There's so much happening apparently. I am gonna give Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared a spot on this list because they are definitely one of the strangest spots that you could find on the internet. I know you could find it on YouTube. There's a lot of strange stuff you could find on YouTube. If you guys want me to make a video called The Strangest Stuff You Could Find on YouTube, let me know in the comment section. But this is one of them. This is actually gonna make the top 10 to be honest because wakey wakey, Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. The people behind this are not giving anything away and they never will give anything away. This was three years ago and they're gonna be absolutely patient. Probably two more years before we're gonna get the next Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is called GodHatesShrimp.com. That is an actual website. <laughs> Shrimp, crab, lobster, clams, mussels, all these are an abomination before the Lord. We call upon all Christians to join the crusade against the Long John Silvers and Red Lobster. Yes, even Popeye shall be cleansed. The name of Bubba shall be a Thema, we must stop the unbelievers from destroying the sanctity of our restaurant. This website is literally talking about how God hates fast food places that serve fish. They're saying red lobster, stop serving lobsters because this is an abomination. God hates shrimp. My friend said that this is actually either the greatest troll in the world or this person is being dead serious and either or I'm genuinely concerned. Here are some of the photos of the brave God fearing souls who have made their voices heard in protest of the abomination that is shrimp eating. They are often obliged to infiltrate or counter protest the more mainstream protests of hypocritical shrimp eaters who call themselves Christians. So if you eat shrimps and you call yourself a Christian, don't talk to these people because they will actually crucify you. What if I married a shrimp? What if I identify as a shrimp in 2022? God hates me. The next website we're gonna show, actually, I'm adding a bunch of like random sprinkles of okay things just to like calm you guys down, not just freak you guys out throughout the whole entire video. This website is something positive. This is called WTF should I do with my life? Let's say you're bored. You go on to WTF should I do with my life.com. It'll tell you to do something with your life. This one says you should be a postdoctoral fellow. I press hell no. You should be a baker. Let's say I want to become a baker. All you have to do, scroll down. They give you an article on how to be a baker. What made you decide on becoming a baker? So this website from being bored can probably change your life. Not even kidding. Let's say if I don't want to be a baker, I press hell no. You should teach English abroad. You scroll down, how to teach English abroad. Plain and simple. This could probably change your life. You probably are going to thank me in the future saying, I'm a political engineer. I don't know what the f A yoga instructor. How many people are going to find that interesting? Let's say you press okay. It takes you, scroll down, how to be a yoga instructor. Hell no. Definitely a strange website of the internet that can change your life. What the F should I do with my life? Next website I wanted to show you guys is called Hashima Island. This is the censored version of Hashima Island that I actually found the uncensored version on the dark web. If you guys want to see the uncensored version of Hashima Island, go ahead and click this video over here on the screen. Towards the end of that video is when I explored the uncensored Hashima Island. But this video here, we're gonna, we're gonna enter the forgotten world of Hashima Island. Welcome to Hashima Island. On the 27th of June, 2013, Google released brand new street views to a forgotten world of the coast of Japan. In Nagasaki. Oh, this was in Nagasaki after the explosion. Oh, that's whatever. I forgot about that. Oh, so you can see the effects of a nuclear bomb. So, for example, start at the pier. 
Tsushima Island. Oh, dude, that's creepy. You know what? The whole Nagasaki part really just messed with me. I'm not gonna lie. So what's the difference between this version and the dark web version, the uncensored dark web version? Now, on the dark web version, if you keep going off the coast of the Hashima Island, like if you go off the barriers of the Hashima Island, you will actually come across bones. You will see stacks of bones on top of each other. Like it looks like some sort of catacomb thing. If you guys don't know what a catacomb is, it's basically like a burial where a bunch of people are just exposed bones on top of each other. It was absolutely frightening. I saw it in that video I showed you guys earlier and I can't unsee it. Every time I look at Hashima Island, it freaks me the hell out but that's Hashima Island you can go on the Hashima Island website and literally explore the entire website what's on the island today after nuclear explosions a nuke from that time literally caused that much destruction and that's what's scaring me about like a 2022 nuke man bro you guys need to shut up about world war bro this website here i want to show you another interesting website that i found from tuff's video uh this is called essay typer strange website you can type an essay about any topic let's say you want to type an essay about videos and you just press letters on the keyboard and as you're pressing random letters i'm, I'm just pressing literally random letters right now and it's actually um giving me an article about videos like it's writing me an entire essay about videos that actually makes sense video is an electronic medium for the recording copying playback and broadcasting display of moving visual media I'm gonna get an ace on my test bro <laughs> all you got to do is take this put this onto grammarly and put the entire plagiarism thing on act and you can turn this into original work bro I'm telling you video recorders were sold for $50,000 in the US in 1956 I like this website hmm so I typed in iPhone 13 and it says the fluidity of iPhone 13 literally if I just type in random things I can close my eyes and become the world's greatest performer look at this I'm a monster oh my god this is all facts about the iPhone iPhone, bro, the iPhone 13. Let's say you need an essay to write about water bottles. I have a water bottle here, so I want to write something about water bottles. A water bottle is a container that is used to hold water, liquids, or other beverages of consumption. <laughs> Anyways, EssayTyper.com. You can literally finish up any subject of any essay and you're pro. This is a good way to start. Let's say you have one day left for your assignment to be finished. This is a great way to start. Maybe a little plagiarism may be involved, but sh Download Grammarly, put the plagiarism effect on, and then just change up a little here and there. And bro, legal aspects are all clear. You might be a douchebag, but it's okay. The next thing I wanted to show you here, this website, one of the strangest websites, is called the world's worst website ever. I don't even know what's happening. It just says, welcome, welcome, welcome. I, I don't know what's going on here. There aren't animals, we're just lam llamas. Who's gonna win? I'm faster. This looks like a Pixel website. Have you guys heard of Pixel.com? I made like 100 Pixel websites in my past. Unfortunately, they shut down. This looks like a Pixel website. This is how many people visited this website since 2008. That's how bored the internet can actually become, bro. Do you think this is really beautifully designed website? Yes, but in pizza. Fantastic, bro. This It's it's classic. Oh, that's my porn's gonna come up. Hold on. It's classic internet comedy, dude. I mean, the letter P. Oh, what's it gonna tell me? What's it gonna say? P, I, C, pick, I, pickle, pickle. Parlor was shut down by right-wing conspiracy theorists who secretly wanted to be liberal but had too many cats to be progressive. The Office is the worst television show in history because no one uses paper and their Dunder Miffin Entry website is dumb losers. That is truly the worst website that exists. The next website we're going to take a look at is called Angels Heaven. Universepeople.org. I don't know what this website is again. Talks with teachings from cosmic friends. Heavenly angels are warning against chirping and enslaving people. What is your spirit, soul, and physical body? Contact with universe people, heavenly angels, and forces of light. Angels Heaven... Org. What the heck? It's one of those weird websites. Oh my god. So for example, like they, they recommend a bunch of books to you where you can they teach you on how to communicate with angels. I know there's some people in my audience that would be interested in that. I know there's some people that find that kind of crappy. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know where I fall on the spectrum. Here's a fun fact. I was watching a video from Wendy Goon. He showed a picture of what angels actually looked like. This picture over here. And I, I'm blown away. I, I thought angels were gorgeous. I thought angels were fi angels were fire, but that picture I just showed you guys on the screen, that's what an angel actually looks like. I don't know. Do you believe it? Let me know in the comment section. Well, where in the Bible does that say angels are described as looking like that? Inside the spaceships, angels in starships, the voice from heaven, Christ exposes the demon state. These are all books. Apparently, what are these free downloads? Allow downloads from angelsheaven.org. Allow. I have 14.5 computer viruses, heaven and its wonders and hell from things heard and seen from Emanuel Swedenborg. 1758? That's the thing, when you read such descriptive things like this and you put that much time into reading all these descriptive things and you end up believing it, and what if it's wrong? If it's right, congratulations to you, you just found enlightenment, you found the true meaning to life, right? But what if this is wrong and you just spent like 14 hours reading something based off someone's interpretation of what heaven and hell could be, not actual testimonials, you know what I mean? I, there's no actual testimonials. 
testimonials of heaven and hell, unless there are. I don't know. This website here, communicating with angels, freaks me the hell out. But we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the next website here, skywaybridge.com. This website presents the plight of those less mentally stable or physically capable as the rest of us may think we are. It deals with the real fact that some people will jump off the public skyway bridge in an attempt to publicly end their own life. This site offers news, stories, opinion, and commentary on those public activities. This site does not promote, condone, nor approve of these public activities. Enter only if you understand what you just read. I am responsible, let me in. Oh my God, guy struggling with her. He was in the front and she was in the Baker Act. There's a video here of somebody at the bridge. I'm not gonna watch it. Savannah R, Facebook was on the bridge today, stopped in traffic, a cop and another emergency vehicle got there around the time I made it to the top and was abandoned vehicle. Crashed car or jumper, don't know, did not see an accident but did see parked cars oh dude that's creepy people literally go there to publicly end it oh my god what's this anonymous woman in, in custody Oh, dude, that's creepy. Listen, the longer you scroll on this site, you're gonna be finding. So these are all 2021 instances of people that were on that bridge that were about to do such activities or did such activities. And I don't wanna scroll long enough to find people that actually did those, those things. I'm already chilled up. I'm actually already shaken up, to be honest. I pressed, I'm responsible, let me in. I've seen enough, I've seen enough. They make a statement over here where they say this website may not be the best place to visit if you have been affected by that in any way or are easily affected by facts, opinion, or reality, public news, or or adult language text imagery found within the site. So listen, like if you outrage e easily, apparently just don't go on the website. If you know you're responsible, obviously go take a look at it. This is on dot coms. I don't condone you doing any of these things because here I am right now, you know, I'm exploring these websites. I'm exploring all these strange websites for you guys. So you guys don't have to explore them yourself. So I press I'm responsible, let me in. And literally like two minutes into the website, I already want to leave. So we're going to go on to the next website here. And here we are, the random face generator. This person does not exist. This genuinely does not exist. And I'm telling you, if you zoom into the face, you will find some imperfections. I don't see any imperfections right now that I think the AI is getting a lot better. If you guys see it, let me know in the comment section down below, but I don't see it at all. Refresh image, the teeth. Some people say the teeth are always messed up. Oh my God, the eyes, eye bags. What's weird about this, you're looking at these people and you're thinking, huh, I wonder if I would ever bump into these people in my life. These people don't exist. This person does not exist. Generate random human face in one click and download it. AI generate fake person photos, man, woman, or child. It tells you how it all works and everything. So wait, let's press refresh again. Another AI generated face. Looks like somebody in politics, right? Looks like somebody that's been on TV before, right? That looks like they're being interviewed, right? This is so weird. Why is everybody looking in that one direction? Oh, that's where I can see it. I can actually see a flaw in this picture over here. The mouth is straight pointed at the camera, but the guy's face is sent. Look at that. That's creepy. The mouth is actually from a photo of somebody looking directly at the camera but the eyes are oh that's that's creepy the next one i want to show you really interesting really weird i'm surprised that there's no lawsuits involved unless it's an official thing created by amazon but it's called amazon dating you heard that right amy 29 years old 59 dollars and 99 cents subscribe and save will 33 years old phoebe 28 years old one hour delivery with prime you have to have your prime membership you know what i mean so if i press grace 30 years old I can buy Grace. I can get Grace's physical touch. She's 30 years old. I can get a different size Grace. I can get a midget Grace. I can get, oh my God, a two foot Grace. I wanna make her, holy crap, eight foot tall. How does this work? So this is Amazon dating. Amazon dating, this is a lit website, bro. Prime video, chat roulette. Enable camera, chat roulette, chatroulette.com, enable camera, download, no, 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 no. I almost got hacked, I almost got hacked, wonderful. The next website I wanted to show you guys, one of the strangest websites I found is called Quick Draw. Google's neural network is actually really smart. The AI for Google is really smart. They're gonna tell you to draw something and you're gonna try to draw it and it's gonna try to recognize it as fast as you can. You're probably like, dude, I don't even know what the heck you just said. Now, for example, draw a house in under 20 seconds. Watch this. I see streamlight. Oh, I know, it's house. Easy, draw a compass. I see circle. I see blueberry. Oh, I know. It's compass. I, I suck at drawing, by the way. A broom. I see meat or lime. Oh, I know. It's broom. A mouse. I see squiggle or toe or dumbbell or the Great Wall of China. I see shark or teapot or bear or bat or camel. I see dolphin or rhinoceros or cloud or bush. I see glove or gear. I see pig or car or frog or black cat. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't guess it. It's not that smart. Also, if you press the world's largest doodling data set, you can select any drawing. For example, hockey 
hockey stick. You will see all the people in the world that drew hockey stick. That's why the neural network is so good. Even if you're a bad drawer, good drawer, amazing drawer, all the hockey sticks that were ever drawn in the world, this program figured out how hockey sticks look like. So if you're drawing it in the middle of drawing it, it's gonna tell you, oh, you're drawing a hockey stick. Let's go back to the to the game. Let's play the game again. Draw a radio. Oh, this is soft. I see table or bench or keyboard or square or dresser. I see microwave or oven. I have no clue what you're drawing. I'm not sure what that is. Sorry, I couldn't guess okay, it. Okay, a trumpet. I see line. I see dumbbell or arrow or spoon or key. I see shovel. Oh, I know. It's trumpet. Boy, draw peas. Oh, this is easy. Oh, this I see is circle easy. or necklace. Oh, I know. It's his <sighs> washing machine. Oh, man. I've done stuff on I washing machines enough to know what they look like, bro. I see camera or microwave. Oh, I know. It's washing machine. Draw a map. Oh, this is easy. I know how to draw a map. You just draw a square. I, I see square, square or suitcase or then... stairs or lipstick. I see marker or anvil. I see hockey puck or stove or oven or door. I see power outlet or traffic light or hospital. I see garden hose or garden or sink. I see cooler or passport or newspaper. Sorry, I couldn't guess it. A t-shirt. This is the last one. I see zigzag or squiggle. Oh, I know. It's t-shirt. Boy, that's it. Quick draw. I'm the best artist in the planet. Next thing I wanted to show you is Gazoogle. Gazoogle is the Snoop Dogg version of Google. So, for example, if you go here and you type in sponge, Bob. It's gonna give you um Spunk Bizzle sweatpants. A sea yellow sponge named Spunk Bizzle sweatpants whose <laughs> rides hard for being a cold <laughs> ill cook at the Krusty Krab. Lives up at the Pacific Ocean. I ain't talking about chicken or gravy biaccio. Dude remarks on various adventures with his wild little players at Bikini Bottom. I'm telling you bro. Gazoogle.net. You search up anything. Why did Spunk Bizzle get cancelled? So I'm gonna go ahead and type in pizza. I like pizza. You like pizza? Gazoogle. Pizzy be a gang banging finger licking dish of Italian origin. How the f is busy me? <laughs> Domino's Pizza, pizza for delivery or takeaway near your ass. New York City. Comprises of five boroughs chilling where the Hudson River meets the Atlantic Ocean. I ain't talking about chicken and gravy biatch for reals. At its core is Manhattan, a thugged out, densely populated borough that's among the ghettoest major commercial and financial cultural centers. Its iconic sites include skyscrapers like a fucking Empire State Building. In Crawlin Central Park, Broadway Theater is staged up in neon lit Times Square. Anyways, that's enough for Gazoogle. This website here is called weird or confusing another strange website that I found on the internet you press this it's gonna take you to an eBay link and do you want to play with my balls by Cifaldi brothers the point of this website weird or confusing is when you click this button it's gonna take you to something weird or confusing on eBay now it's gonna send me to what's this dehydrated water 16 ounce empty can 100% organic dehydrated water weird or confusing Farting cat's coloring book. That's an actual thing. Something weird or confusing. Black monster beast, werewolf, killer, ape, zag, gone studios, adult hand gloves. Something weird or interesting. Chia pet Bob. A, a Bob Ross chia pet? I need it. I must own it. Oh my god. The next thing I wanted to show you guys is a website. The website's called 111111111111.com. And if you go to the website, this is literally what comes on. This is the page that opens up. It's a picture. Um, oh, I saw something appear on the screen. You saw that too, right? What the? Pump it up. Enter. Oh, there's an enter button. What's this? Oh, ah, oh, it worked. Enter. I smell an ARG. There's money there. They put the twin. Oh my God. They put the twin tower building. Okay. You know when you fold up the $20 US bill and then you make the buildings look like the burning towers? They put that there. I smell an ARG here. Keep clicking the enter button until you're attacked by the weapons, weapons of mass destruction. Don't forget to turn your speaker to enjoy our patriotic music. I've entered a serious rabbit hole right now. Confess your daily sin here. I am a YouTuber. Confess. This is one of the strangest websites that I have ever found online. Enter. There's another enter button. Oh my God. Enter. Oh, there's another enter button here. Hey, Jesus dancing yeah you just basically have to look for all the enter buttons this website somebody was on a serious trip when they made this damn website is there any more enter buttons oh there it is on the top right oh my god oh my god oh my god they put also oh my god saddam hussein what is this what's what's happening i'm so done it's one of the strangest website i ever found on the internet the one 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 dot com i think that's a great way to end the video ladies and gentlemen if you made it this far into the video go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already if you put on the notification bell you'll actually be notified anytime i upload a creepy video like this thank you guys so much i'll see you in the future and remember strangest part of the internet don't go on there alone